Okay, Tony and Alex, uh, the box arrived today, so we're going to go ahead and get going here. Get it opened up and see what we have in store. Okay, Alex, this must be your watch. Looks good. Ah, oh, yeah. A black bullhead with, I think, a new insert or a old insert. Okay, to replace that one. Very good. Okay. Um, well, let's have a look. Let's have a close look at what we have. <clears throat> All right. So we have a nineteen seventy six, August seventy six, six one three eight zero zero four zero, otherwise known as the Bullhead. So this is the black version, which is a very cool uh, variant on the bullhead so yeah somebody has uh, somebody's replaced this tachymeter insert but that's okay we can take care of that I think um, let's see how are we how are we doing here so pretty loose and that usually implies that there's a missing spring or even a retainer um, so we're currently not running see if we can get a little power in here and change that situation no okay okay well oh there we go all right good <laughs> sorry about that I was a little frightening for a minute okay that's good things are resetting that's also good that's nice and sure you get a little bit of a bend in your in your sweep but it's not doing too bad. Um, these uh, these little chips here in your hand, that's due to this being reset from a low position and striking this hand. If it's if it's anywhere between twelve and say five, and you reset the chronograph anywhere from twelve, you know any any value larger than wherever the the minute hand is if it's a long reset it can actually strike this hand on this side uh, and that's generally not not good um, this is an aftermarket crystal which will replace with a correct crystal um, that one doesn't quite look right um, but we'll check it out very closely it just doesn't have the right feel um, case back looks pretty good um, this hasn't been Polish too hard. It's had some polishing done to it. Uh, somebody's put some striping back in it, uh, but definitely the top has been polished. Um, but that's okay. Let's see here. These aftermarket um, bands can have a bit of a interference issue here, and that could be in the spring bar. But that's okay. We'll we'll work on that. We'll see if we can get that a little bit better. Um, okay. Um, so overall, we have a running, very attractive black bullhead. Uh, I want to get in here and see what we've got uh, for the movement. That's the most important part in my book. Is the condition of the movement. I'm gonna. 
have a close look here to see how these it's just a little bit more interference than I'm happy with and again that could be mm, yeah it's a little bit a little bit off but you know what we'll see if we can make that a little bit better in our process here mm. These are a challenge sometimes. Ooh wee. Oh my. Okay. Give me one moment. Let me let me take this off of here. Ooh, boy, that is tight. Oh my. Okay. Well, we will see if we can fix this. It is an aftermarket bracelet, so it, it has its uh its minor issues. Okay, let's get into the movement, see if we can see what's going on in here. All right, so a little bit tight. Give me one moment, I will be right back. Okay, we're back. So let's go ahead and open this together and see where we are. Seems your case back has also been polished, so... Um, but that's okay. That's may be expected all right so hmm yeah okay so we've got quite a bit of pitting here um, on your ceiling surface and some material that isn't quite so nice um, we have to be very careful going forward um, with any sort of water this will be a watch that should not be anywhere near even even rain to be honest um, it's it's definitely going to suffer a little bit uh, it's had some water intrusion you can see that in here there's some some definite water that's been in got a little bit of wiggle here in your In your movement so you do not have a spring so you should have a spring here it's missing so we'll have to replace that um, looks like your pushers are pushed in quite a bit so let's see if we can get those pushed back out no that's okay all right that's good yeah okay um, doesn't look bad certainly looks like it needs a good clean Got some some marring here. Let's go ahead and get you up to full power. All right, let's have a look. Um, I see a couple marks here on the inside of your case back. I have no idea what they mean, but there are some marks. Get this closed up best we can. Okay, come on. <laughs> come on. You can do it. There we go. These threads are a little stiff. Okay, here we go. Let's put it on the time buffer and see how it's see how it's running. Okay, Alex. Well, here are the numbers. It's a it's a tale of uh, a tale of two two things. Um, primarily, my interest is in this number right here, and anything above two twenty five means that your watch is doing okay. Um, you know, in this range, right? So this is dropping back a little bit, but. It's uh, it's not a bad running watch. Of course, the adjustments are way out. These numbers are totally out of spec. Um, you know, we can get this to zero. That's how off the tick and tock of the watch are from about their center position, which we can adjust. And this is, um, of course, the the gaining or losing time per day. Um, but this number, you know, it's low-ish, and it's going to vary a little bit as we uh, as we let it rest here. I just put power into the watch, so there's going to be some variation. Um, this number for a great watch is 240. For a decent watch, it's 225 to 230. 
Um, and that depends a lot on the condition of the materials inside the watch to begin with. So if you've got, you know, wear and, and things, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be, you know, in the, in the high 220s, low 230s. But if it's a great watch, it's going to be way up into the 240s generally. This is a watch that is on the cusp of, of needing something. Um, I don't know. Uh, if that means you want to take it to the next level, of course, we can always do that. That's one thing uh, that we can do in service is get this number to where you want it. And that just means that there's less friction within the movement. There's less wear uh, that we can identify components that might be bad. Um, so, you know, I, I'm here. I'm here to service watches. Um, I'm here to help you with getting this the way you want it. Um, and, and we can do that. So let's come back to the bench. Okay, so we're back. Um, so, you know, this watch would benefit from a service. You know, if it were my watch, I would service it. Um, and I would also do a little touch-up, perhaps, on the hand. Uh, I would, of course, um, you know, change your insert, perhaps, and your, and your crystal. That's not, I don't think that's quite the original style of crystal. Um, a good clean, uh, you know, seals and everything. Uh, I don't know what the condition is of the seals, uh, but we'll probably find that they're they're stiff. Um, so I will send you this video. You can let me know exactly what you want to do, and uh, we can move forward with um, with either servicing or, or leaving the watch um, as it is. So, um, okay, thanks so much.